Hi, this is Slater with Guild Launch, and today we're going to be talking about our basic forum functionality under the new admin menu. We have moved our forums from its own tab to our features tab. So all you have to do is click features, and it'll be here with alliance functionality and rapid raid and uh, the calendar. Then you just need to click forums, and you'll have all the options for forum customization. So today we're going to be going over how to create new categories, create new forums, uh, sub-forums, and basic permissions. So the first thing you're going to want to know how to do is create a forum category. And all you have to do is come down here and click in the field for create category. We'll make one called classes. Click the create category button and you get a confirmation. Just click here to go back to the main forum menu, and here is our category. It's as simple as that. The next thing you're going to want to know how to do is how to create a forum. You have the category, so wanting to have a place where people can actually post is handy. So just click in this name field for create new forum, and you'll notice that each category has its own link. And we're in the classes category, so we'll make a mages forum. Uh, it's my kind of my go-to class. This is my go-to class. And this is the menu that you can make all the customization that you'd like for it, whether uh, you want a description for it, if you want to put a different name, and if you put it in the wrong category, you can recategorize it here. And once you've decided everything that you want for it, just click create new forum, you get the same confirmation screen. When you go back, there it is. The next thing we're going to talk about is how to create a subform, which is almost identical to creating a primary form. Since we have our mage forum, I'll go ahead and make a frost for a frost subform for for a spec for wow. Put another description. And the only difference in creating a subforum is you just need to flag this option. Is this form a subforum? Yes, it is. And then choose which forum you would like it attached to. I'll go ahead and attach it to the mage forum. You create the forum. And there you go. And if you decide that you don't like how it's arranged on this screen, we have a very simple drag and drop interface. So just hover over here, click, and you can move it and reposition it in real time. The last thing we're going to talk about are basic viewing permissions. This column right here is the basic permissions on who can view, post, edit their own posts, etc. on a particular forum. For the new ones, it's set to registered, so any registered member can view it. But if you'd like to change that, just click this Edit button beneath that forum. And here we have our simple permissions, which are public, available to everybody, registered, available to anyone who's a registered, registered user, registered hidden, which means that only registered people can see it. If you are not a registered member of that guild site, you cannot see that forum on even the forum list. Private, which means you have to flag uh, that permission group in the permissions tab. Private hidden, which is the same thing except people who aren't in that group can't even see it on the forum list. And then moderators and moderators uh, hidden. You can also go into advanced functionality, which breaks it down into everything that you can do on a forum. Who can see it, who can repost in it, who can post in it, who can reply to those posts, who can edit their own posts, who can delete their own posts, who can make stickies and announcements, and who can vote in a poll or create a poll. Once you've set that, just click Submit and it will update the permissions. That is our basic walkthrough. If you have any more questions, send us an email at support at or 
more posts on the support forums at support.guildlaunch.com. Thank you.